welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to make pilau kenyan pilau and it's actually a delicacy that is used um during weddings and uh ceremonies it's very special delicacy so uh, i'm going to showcase my ingredients that i'm going to use today and here i have my on onions red onions a bunch of it like i think they are like four or five um onions and i have my lamb which is boiled already then i have my garlic and garlic and ginger paste this one i made it myself i have salt to make the food taste good and then i have two cups of rice basmati long grain then here i have my very specific ingredients so from here we're going to start from this one i'll tell you every ingredient what it is so these ones are star star uh, anise there are three then i'm going to use long paper i'm going to use cinnamon sticks this one is big cardamom then this one is dry ginger this one is mace one of it then i have a, a number of uh cumin no sorry i have a number of black pepper then these are cumin these ones are cloves then these ones are green cardamom bay leaves and cinnamon stalks so guys uh with these ingredients i'm going to blend them like i'm going to use a blender and make it shred them into very very fine powder and that is what we are going to use as pilau masala for our pilau I'm going to blend all of them into very fine powder so that we can use it for our pilau today ingredients are ready i'm going to put two spoonfuls of my ingredients and that should be enough i'll use a little bit of cooking oil i'll wait for my cooking oil to be very hot then i'll add my onions i'm going to add my onions And I'll keep stirring my onions till they become golden brown. brown. And that golden brown color is the one that is going to give um, our pilau the beautiful golden brown color. We are not going to use soy sauce. We are only going to use our brown onion. So I'll give my onions some time to cook until they turn golden brown. So keep stirring my onions. My onions are getting uh, turning brown, very nice, turning brown. So I've been cooking my onions for about 10 minutes now, just stirring it so that it does not stick. At this point, at this point I'm going to add my ingredients my pilau masala the one that I've made it that I've made DIY masala and I'm going to keep stirring for about two minutes so that my masala can cook my ginger and garlic paste at this point and keep stirring I'll add salt I'm adding my meat now it has a little bit of broth 
but that's fine. That will help to cook the, the ingredients properly for a bit. I'll keep stirring. So as my meat is cooking for a bit, I'm going to wash my rice. So guys, it's very nice to wash your rice so that um, it doesn't stick together. So at this point, I'm going to wash. I'm going to add my rice at this point. I've washed my rice already. It's clean. So I've added my rice. I'll start to uh, rice to mix it properly with the meat and the ingredients. Then a four cups of water because I used two cups of rice so and I use this cup to measure my rice and I'll use the same cup to measure my water so my water to rice ratio is two to four two cups of rice four cups of water I'll start just to make it um, mix it together properly I'll cover my rice guys and then I'll reduce the heat to the lowest the lowest heat so that my rice doesn't um, burn and I'll keep checking every five minutes I'll keep checking uh, the level of the water Rice is ready as you can see it looks so nice so I'm going to serve um, in my plate and you guys are going to see how it looks yeah. So guys, um, guys, I'm going to serve my food. It looks so yum. I'm actually salivating. I love it. Then uh, tonight I'm going to serve my, my pilau with kachumbari. I'm going to share a, a video one of these days on how I made my kachumbari. Very nice. And um, I have a, a bowl of spinach. I love greens, so I'm going to serve it with spinach. So this spinach I've cooked with cream. You know, cream. Uh, yeah, so guys, you're very much welcome. And guys, watching my video, I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.